So right next to us is 443 Greenwich, the paparazzi proof building here in New York City. And in today's episode, we are taking you on an exclusive tour of one of the most private residences in all of New York City. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Eric, that looks like any run of the mill converted loft building that you'd find here in downtown Manhattan. And that right there is exactly the point. This building is so inconspicuous from the exterior that you would have no idea that it's home to some of the most recognized faces in the world. Now, aside from a private underground motor court for discreet departures and arrivals and a top of the line security system, the real privacy at 443 Greenwich comes from its geography. Tribeca is one of the most quiet neighborhoods in all of Manhattan. It's essentially its own microcosm. There's hardly any commercial shops like you'd find in Soho along Broadway attracting all those tourists. And thanks to the barriers created by Canal Street to the north, the West Side Highway, and Broadway to the east, there is no real reason to come down to Tribeca unless you live here. I also want to mention by no means is this an invite to come on down and wait for your favorite celebrity. But while browsing Street Easy the other day, I found a listing here at 443 Greenwich. So I contacted the listing agent who's allowing us to take a glimpse into one of the most private buildings in all of New York City. So entering apartment 5H, you have a private elevator that exits you right into the apartment. You have this cool oversized iron door which leads into the entryway here at number 5H. This is a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, just under 4,000 square foot apartment, which is currently in the market for $15.5 million. So right off the elevator, we have this entryway, which leads into the great room. And the number one feature I love about this building is the fact it's an original warehouse. So you have the wooden beams from the 1800s here, which have been sanded down to a smooth touch that run the entire length of this great room. Another cool feature, these arched windows, which have been cast outlined in iron here, and you can even see the original brick. So the only thing really left of this building are the bones, the beams, the brick, and the windows. Other than that, everything has been modernized, bringing that old city with a new modern feeling. So here in the great room below our feet, we have wide plank white oak flooring, and here is this open concept living room, couches on either side, a nice coffee table breaking up the space, which then flows down to your dining room here with seating for eight. I love this corner moment here where you have seven of these oversized windows looking at, you can actually see the Hudson River to the west and then you have your northern exposure with that nice light bounce off your neighbors who are also living in another beautiful old historic warehouse style building. From your dining room, we have our open concept Eden Chef's Kitchen. Front and center taking up all the real estate here in this kitchen is this giant island with Calcutta marble on the top. And I really love how it's stainless steel on the base and it's wrapped around this piece of marble here. You have seating for four at this breakfast bar, then behind your dishwasher, garbage disposal, all of that. Then right off your island, you have all this custom millwork. This is oak on the cabinetry here. So here you actually have your wine storage, stainless steel appliances. This is your Sub-Zero refrigerator freezer combo. And this is the big boy. This is commercial grade. You have your Miele suite here, cappuccino maker, oven, all this shelving with the inlaid LED lights to light up whatever you're displaying. You have slate here on the countertop. And then this beautiful six burner stainless steel wolf cooktop. You even have the pot filler. So you could have a chef come in here, prep up a meal. And then this beautiful oversized stainless steel hood just to kind of really top everything off. And then in this corner, I really like you have a little kind of breakfast moment here, seating for two, views out your window of your neighbors here in Tribeca. Overall, the kitchen just has a very warm and livable feeling. Leaving your kitchen, I really love the fact that this is so open concept. Personally, this is my style of apartment in the city. I feel like when you move to New York at any level, whether it's a million dollar apartment or a 15 and a half million dollar apartment, you wanna feel like you're in New York City. And with these beams and the style, you feel like you're in the city. But from this main area, we're now back into the entry. And this is the owner's wing of the apartment. Off my right here, this is the primary bedroom. Follow me in here. Huge primary bedroom for New York City standards. You have your California king bed front and center. Again, you have two of these awesome arch windows facing west, so you do get that natural sunlight which wraps around here as the day goes on. Overall, for a primary bedroom, it's a very comfortable layout. So right off of the bedroom, if we head back again, you have your his and hers closet off to my left here, and then off to my right, this is the primary bathroom. And just take a look at this beautiful mirrored piece of stone on the backsplash here with your freestanding tub front and center. I love how you have the brass on the faucets coming right out of this piece of marble. Even the vanity, one giant slab of stone here with that trough drain laser etched in there. And again, those beautiful brass 
faucets coming right out of that marble. Right off your vanity, you have your walk-in steam shower, again with those brass fixtures here, all the controls right on the wall, and then on the other side we have your actual water closet which has been frosted with the glass, and you actually have a bidet, which I feel like you don't see too often these days. But out of the primary bathroom, now even if you're successful enough to call 443 Greenwich your home, that doesn't mean that you're immune to the trials and tribulations that the world can throw at you. I'd like to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own professional licensed therapist who you can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional therapy done securely online. And there is a huge range of expertise. BetterHelp has over 20,000 licensed therapists in their network, many of which typically would not be available locally in some areas. And this service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message right to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, meaning that you will never have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it free and easy to change therapists if needed. It's also more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available if you need it. BetterHelp truly wants you to start living a happier life today. I have a link down below in the description for 10% off your first month if you use betterhelp.com slash Eric. Again, that's betterhelp.com slash Eric. With that, BetterHelp, thank you for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to Tribeca and see the rest of this apartment. We're gonna make our way back into this hallway. Again, second closet here. And then towards the end of this main hallway, this is the laundry room at the end of the hallway slash storage room, you have washer and dryer there, an extra sink. Off of your laundry room, we're gonna make our way back to the main entryway, so the elevator's off to the right here, and then down this hallway, this is all the guest bedroom, kind of wing of the home. Because the owner of this place, uh, I can't say who he is, but he is a billionaire, and his bodyguard actually lives in that room. So that first guest bedroom of the three guest bedrooms, we're not going into, this is the second one. Very decent sized bedroom, you have a king size bed, two of those beautiful arch windows in here, and just a flat screen on the wall over there. Out of this guest bedroom at the very end of the hallway, this is the final guest bedroom. You have this nice hallway leading back. This one's very private. Again, ensuite bathroom, beautiful original beams. And this is a fairly decent sized guest bedroom. And it's currently the manager of the client who actually owned this place. So you have the desk, all that in the corner, and one of those beautiful windows, letting in a nice amount of light. There's a nice bounce. Even though these are northern facing windows, you get that beautiful bounce off of your neighbor's apartment. So I'm now sitting down with the listing agent, GP. Thank you for letting us tour your listing. You're welcome, always. You mentioned that there are some pretty crazy amenities including a parking spot the parking spots here run what is it a million dollars for a and parking over. spot and over and over yes so one million dollars for a parking spot in this building and what makes this place such a high security building because in this building live like uh, high high net worth individual people plus celebrity and because of that you mentioned that there is a a private drive that that goes out underground, garage, is that right? Full security garage under the building. So essentially, if you were living here and you were a high net worth individual, you would never have to pull up to the front. Absolutely, they need to be secure yourself. Wow, that's something, because I, I live pretty close to here and I've never even knew that this building was here. I've heard about it, but I didn't know because it's so inconspicuous from the street. You see, because they're not a huge priority for this building, it's so quiet. Now you make a shot and this building is going to be an explosion. Maybe, maybe for the right for the right reasons. Hopefully, it maintains that privacy. Uh, I want to ask you about your experience as an agent. You've been selling for 18 years. What is a piece of advice you could offer someone watching who wants to to, to get to where you're at, to become a luxury agent at the highest level? You need to be love your job. If you love your job, you're completely successful. Will be for future. Look at my story. It's me. I open for everybody. Just call me, and I will able to care of you for the good agent. With that, if you're looking to buy this specific unit, it's linked down below in the description. All of G's information is there, his email, his cell phone, all that. Thank you again for letting us tour this apartment. You're very welcome, Eric, always. Thank you, sir. And pleasure with that, to work with you. pleasure. And with that, we will see you in the next episode.